for the button. Need two wires. I'm going to use the red one and I'm going to use a black one. These go either way. Um, the voltage is just passing through it and when you when you push the button it connects them. Later, this is where it's going to go. The uh, black wire is going to line up with the with the uh, voltage in on the regulator because you're going to want the power to come up from the batteries go through the switch go through the regulator and then finally go into the atomizer connector <clears throat> go ahead and bend your little hook Bear with me, folks. I don't have one of those fancy soldering stations, so I just do everything uh, by bending it and stuff. There's one wire attached. We'll put a little extra solder on there just to make sure it's strong. And then like I said, I uh I heat shrink everything. So this switch you want to make sure that you don't connect the two points coming off the switch. So I'll put the piece of heat shrink on there right now on one side, but I won't heat it up yet. And I'm going to hook my other wire on right here and solder it on. You can bend these prongs that come off the switch slightly, but don't bend them too much uh, because uh, they're not the strongest thing in the world. And if you bend them back and forth too many times, you could cause breakage. Zoom out slightly. Now I'm soldering my other wire on. Oh, it moved. That's not a good connection. You want to make sure it's hooked around there and soldered securely. If something goes wrong, just heat up the solder and redo it. You can take your pliers and you can crimp it a little bit. That way it won't move around on you while you're soldering it. Keep your tip of your soldering iron cleaned and then don't forget to retin it so you have good heat transfer. Okay. Now I've got my two wires soldered on soldered onto my switch. And we'll go ahead and put the heat shrink around these. I try to do everything a little bit stronger than might need to be done just because um, you know once this thing's all together you're not taking it apart and you'll see why later so that's heat shrunk on there 
Now I'm also going to put some heat shrink over all my connections on the regulator. So we need three of these. Start with this middle one. go those are all heat shrunk now um, last but not least on the regulator this piece of uh, this this uh, metal plate on the bottom of the regulator is the heat sink that's what lets the heat go from taking 12 volts down to 5. There's going to come heat that's going to come out somewhere. And that is also negative on these. So I like to cover it. The heat's still going to come out. It's just that you don't want anything to attach. You don't want anything to come in contact with that since it's negative. So I heat shrink that up good too. There we go. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, now, like I mentioned before, um, the solder lump connected to the spring is positive. The one directly on the inside is the most dangerous one. It's negative. If the spring gets pushed down too much, uh, you're going to connect the two. So what I want to do is I want to cover up that that center lump with 4 minute JB Weld and then I'm also going to cover up the inside ring which are all positive. So we're only going to have the positive here connected to the spring exposed and all the negatives on the outside exposed. They're so far apart from each other they won't come in contact with each other. And the way I like to uh, cover them is with a little bit of four minute JB Weld. It's non-conductive, works real good for these purposes. So we're gonna put a little lump of it. Huh, why can't you see it on camera? Let me just zoom out. Put a little lump of it there and a little lump of the hardener. You want to put these in equal amounts. I have an old screwdriver I do this with. Just cut off some of the old stuff. Clean up my screwdriver. Mix this stuff together good use equal parts that way it's gonna harden up within four minutes so you gotta do this quick I don't like the regular JB Weld it takes too long to dry this stuff is hard as steel once it dries non-conductive but hard as steel now you want to bend the spring over and 